Hi guys! I missed you. Happy Money Monday! What is up? Long time no see. It's been like a month, I feel like. Yeah, I feel like it's been a month, but I'm back. Hello, how are you guys doing? Um, it's just a chill day for me. I just did my makeup and I haven't got dressed yet, but I have like this cute little pink outfit on. And yeah, I just want to give you some life updates, do a little chill vlog. Might go out tonight. We'll see. We'll see how the vibes are in a little bit. And oh my god, I gotta put you guys on something. I literally got this to show you in the video. This is not sponsored. I just really like it. It's this by pomegranate drink. I've been obsessing over them. Actually, this isn't new. I've liked this for like three years now, but I didn't buy them until recently. It's a Sunday, so it's not really like anything going on, but I really want raising canes, so I might go out just to get raising canes because it's like an hour away from my house, but is it worth it? Absolutely it is. I have a crazy week coming up, so hopefully I can vlog some of that for you guys. I have a movie premiere, I have some events, and a lot of crazy fun things happening. And so yeah, hopefully you guys can watch that. I'm gonna try to film as much as I can. And I'm also a little bit stuffy today. I don't know why I'm not sick. I think it's my allergies from my eyelashes, still. But am I gonna take them off? Absolutely not. I love them. I lo I'm not me without eyelashes. Like, are you kidding me? Oh, shoot. And then also, everyone's always like, why do you have eyelash extensions when you have an eyelash company? It's like, ma'am, I'm trying out new products for Lashicals. If you guys don't know, I own an eyelash company. Um, it's called Lashicals, and you can go to www.lashicals.com if you want to check it out. Um, but yeah, I have eyelash extensions. I was testing a new product. I don't know when I'm gonna launch it But let me know if you guys are ready for that. It's eyelash shampoo for both fake eyelashes and eyelash extensions So I obviously had to try it on both because I can't sell something if I don't 100% love it I also shaved my arms for the first time in 24 years <laughs> And I regret it. So don't do that. I don't know why I did that. I've literally had hairy arms since I came out of the womb. And then one night I was just having a moment and I shaved them off. Don't do that. Why is this vein doing the most? What the hell? Okay, so right now I need to do my hair. That is like our main focus, you guys. And you are going to come along with me. I know this is going to be probably a very boring video. But I, ha I have stuff to do. So I'm just going to take you along with me. Okay. Also, I don't know how I got this bruise. It's it, it's a bruise. I, and I really don't know how I got it. You guys are going to just assume things. But I seriously, I that is not how I got that. So I don't know how I got it. I'm going to go ahead and change my top because I feel a little uncomfy. While I'm doing my hair rollers, I want to give you guys some life updates. I feel like a lot has happened since the last time we spoke. Okay, first of all. I'm still living my best single life. I'm not dating anybody. I know a lot of comments are like, oh my god, like it's too soon for you to be dating. Baby girl, I am single. I am single and I'm living my best life and it has been great. Have I went on dates? Of course I have. Um, I never went on dates in my entire life. Like I never... Okay, I went on dates, but I had the same boyfriend for seven years. So I, I was going on dates with the same person. I never actually, like, been in the dating world. And I kind of hate it. Kind of like it. It has its pros and cons, like anything. But overall, I'm a happy girl, and I would not change anything. I think everything happens for a reason. And, like I said, I'm happy. And that's all that matters, really. So a lot of people were asking when I'll be ready to get into another relationship. Honestly, I don't know. I don't really have a timeline on it. Um, if the right person comes along, I wouldn't be opposed to it. But like I said, I'm I'm just chilling right now. We'll see, actually. We will see. I can't say that yet because I don't know what's going to happen. So I was telling you guys about my dates on TikTok Live. And people seem to really like my story time, so I will give you more if that's what you guys want. I just didn't know you could handle it because, you know, you guys were with me when I was in the couple channel. And so I don't want to overwhelm you with single stuff. I did like two lives and everyone's always trying to ask about <laughs> my dates and stuff. So I, I don't mind telling you guys, like you guys are such a huge part of my life that I love sharing things with you. Now, would I ever do a public relationship again? Probably not. I'm going to say 99.9% .9 not. Ever again. 
However, my issue is I love to show off. Like, I love to share things that I love. So when I when I love somebody, like, I already know my ass is going to be like, come here, let me take a picture of you. Wait, 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 smile. Like, I know that's how I am. So I'm going to have to be careful with that because I know... I know how the public relationship stuff works because I was in it. And it's challenging. It really puts a lot of strain on a relationship, especially, like, when you're a public figure. Like, it really... It's hard. So I would never do, like, an actual couple channel type thing. But, I mean, if I'm married, I got a husband. You guys already know. I'm going to show him. I'm going to show him off. Like, you got to show off the hubby. No, actually, I don't even fucking know if I'll ever get married at this point. It's taking off my makeup. I knew that was going to do that. I need to protect the makeup underneath. <gasps> Hold on, you guys. This is not supposed to happen. Okay, wait. Please don't melt my makeup. I work so hard. Please don't do this to me. Please don't do this to me. I look crazy, but I need to protect the makeup underneath the heat roller. So I had to put a... Just ignore it. Back to what I was saying. So back to what I was saying. This could be us. What you playing? Bing, why are you playing with me? Stop playing. No, but for real, why are you playing? You know who you are. Stop playing. I have so many plans coming up. Like, more trips than ever this year. Also, this is my traveling year. I feel like every year I say this, and I never go anywhere, but I really do want to start going out of the country more. I mean, I have my passport. Like, there's no excuse. I'm going to wait to go to Europe until 2024, though. I want to go to Hawaii again this year. I want to go to... Um, like the Bahamas, like something like beachy this year. I feel like this should be like my tropical year. And then next year will be my my um, year up year. And then people were asking me if I'm going to Coachella this year. And honestly, you guys, I've never actually been to Coachella. I went to Palm Springs last time Coachella was happening. And I went to like other things, but I never actually went to Coachella itself. And no, I don't think I'm going this year, but again, I'm going to go to Palm Springs and be in the area when Coachella is happening, but not actually going to Coachella. I just prefer to like do the other stuff happening during Coachella rather than Coachella itself. I didn't love any of the artists on the lineup, uh, but if you know Five Seconds of Summer was going to be there, oh baby, I'm front row, artist, past, VIP, whatever I need for them. Like those are my babies. Since they're not on the lineup, I'm going to have to just pass on that ow fuck. and then i don't know if you guys saw but on my instagram stories i showed you that i went to the scream premiere and if you know me you know i love my scary movies it was funny because actually i didn't even get to watch the movie <laughs> but i'm sure it was great but i watched like 20 minutes of it and that was it it's like they they get you you know drinking before and then by the time the movie starts i'm already like I can't concentrate on a movie by then. You know what I mean? It was a struggle. So I will have to um, watch it another time. Ow! <sighs> no, too much hair. Too much hair. I'm learning how to use these. I'll be back. So I just finished the entire head. I'm going to let this sit for like 20 minutes, figure out my outfit, and I will be back. Guys, here's the finished product of the hair. So pretty. Okay, guys, so now I wanted to talk to you about why I dissolved my filler. The ultimate question, title of this video, why I dissolved it. Are you guys ready? So, right now, I have no lip filler, and this is my current lips. Natural lips. They're overlined, but no filler. So, the reason why I dissolved my lip filler is because they were old, and the filler was migrating. So, it was making my face puffier. The filler was, like, in my mustache area it was just like weighing down my face so i wanted to remove it all and start fresh simple as that honestly i just i wanted to take a break from it and so i don't know if I'll, I'll get them back anytime soon probably in like the next three to four months i'll probably get them back but right now i'm just chilling with my natural lips let me know if you guys like it but yeah that is the reason why i dissolved them and i feel good i feel like more natural now 
Okay guys, so that is it for this video. I love you so much. Thank you for watching. I'm going to go ahead and take off my makeup and go to bed. Um, I didn't end up going out tonight. It was just kind of a chill night. And I want to make sure I get this video up for you guys tomorrow. It was very chill. Very simple video. But I heard that's what a lot of you want. So I'm back to doing just like simple chill videos. I was just doing my hair and makeup and getting ready for the day. And I did nothing. So, yeah. Oh my god, I forgot. Oh my god, I got I got frozen yogurt and I forgot about it. Oh no. It's melted. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Dang it. Okay, guys. I love you. I'm gonna see you next Maddie Monday, okay? Be ready for me. I'm on TikTok every day now. TikToks are going crazy. I'm literally editing one as we speak.